Hello, my name is Russell and today I'll tell you about my mountaintop experience. Together with my two friends, George and Catherine, we traveled by car. Since this was my first time going, I was a little anxious, but Ms. Taylor was able to answer all of my concerns as well as my friends. When we arrived, we were divided into YRGs, also known as Youth Renewal Groups, each of which had campers from several states. Our first day was spent working in a family's home, repairing and painting walls. By our lunch break, the family prepared us an appetizing meal that I could never forget. They were so grateful for us because we were able to help them with these tasks. I felt a strong feeling between God inside and outside the campsite. We visited a nice woman, Miss Amy, out of her home as our second stop. She needed both front and back porch repairs. But our wire we believe that she told, that she also required some social support. We were informed by her that her sister had experienced a stroke. We prayed to God every day that angels would be sent to help her. Later, we learned that Miss Amy was happy because her sister had recovered well from her stroke. After all the activities were done, the camp would go to a chapel, sing songs, and learn more about God. We learned more about God and all the amazing things he does for his people, which created a greater bond with him. One of my favorite camp memories was during the meal. Reverend King kept telling me, Russ, eat more food. I know you're hungry. I always wanted to wait until everyone was done eating at our, everyone was done eating at our table. And then Reverend King would encourage me to eat more food. This was a great camp. I wanted to inform my sisters about Mountaintop because it had a big impact on my perspective of, of God and helping others in need. My older sister, Ella, seemed more interested. I told Ella about the good work that happened inside and outside the camp. Friendships were also a big part of the camp. Our YRG had eight people in it. After doing so much work with them, I got to know them a lot better and understand what their outside life was like. Mount Top has been one of the best camps I've ever been to, and I hope to go back to create more memories and to help more people. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is George, and I'm a junior. And when I first signed up for this, trip. I didn't really know what to expect. I don't have any older siblings or, or close friends uh, who told me about their experience. I can remember first hearing about what I would encounter, such as the work projects, and I felt kind of nervous. But with a little bit of elaboration and training, I felt as though I was called upon by God and ready to serve people in need. There are many different aspects associated with mountaintop. What I quickly learned upon arriving is just how many aspects there would be. Of course, there were service projects and going out in the community, but there was also camp itself, the place where missionaries of mountaintop would come together to have meals, play games, and learn a little bit more about each other. This is something I enjoyed a lot about Mountaintop, was the people I was with. This is important because the thing that was emphasized possibly the most prior to us arriving was how we would be put into groups with strangers whom we would be assigned to. This is known as the YRG. Together we would spend most of the day to complete service projects and in the Cumberland Mountains for those of you. It seemed like a pretty tall task, but I think this was situated perfectly for me since it was my first time doing something like this. I got to know my group more and more as the week progressed. And because we spent most of our day together, we started to connect in ways that felt like we were a family. It's crazy now to think about how we started that we knew nothing about each other knowing how far away we were in different parts of the country. But we joined together as Christians to serve, learn, and grow. 
being not just with my YRG, but people who lived in these areas were serving, we were serving, impacted my experience. We, my YRG repaired, built it, and paid in wheelchair ramps. That was the only thing we did was build terminals. Anyhow, the first person we met was a lady named Pauline, who had been living on the mountain for most of her life. She said that she wanted to move north, but didn't have enough money and support to do so. She was very kind and told us how much she appreciated each and every one of us. Now knowing how very little I knew going into wheelchair ramp projects. I was definitely proud of myself, knowing how much positive impact my work could have on a person's life. So in conclusion, I believe the Mountaintop is a great organization, and I definitely think that they should keep doing these retreats, as they have impacted so many people from all over the country, and also people in the Cumberland community who don't have very many opportunities and things that we do in our ordinary lives. I would definitely recommend going to Mountaintop at least once for my, especially my siblings. And I think um, it will be a great eye-opening experience just like it was for me. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Catherine With this being my first ever mission trip, I found it impossible to really know what to expect in attending Mountaintop. But I was nevertheless excited to help out and learn about the community in Grundy County. And I can't wait to share my experiences with all of you. This past July, the church traveled to Grundy County, Tennessee to help aid one of the most impoverished counties in America. Throughout the week, my work group, also known as my Youth Renewal Group, or my YRG, was tasked with a series of service projects ranging from construction to painting to yard work. As I reflect on Mountaintop, the second and third days on the job stand out to me. On Tuesday and Wednesday, our YRG was given the task of replacing the rotting posts that stood as the support for the back porch of a house. The job was not easy. We needed to build a device that would support the roof of the porch to keep it from collapsing while we replaced each post. As we saw down each post, we all held our breath, hoping the wood contraption we had built was enough to keep the roof up. Having to quite literally be the support for this porch was terrifying, but extremely gratifying once each of the seven posts were replaced. The homeowner, an elderly and disabled woman who lived alone in the house, was extremely appreciative of our team's work in repairing the home she had lived in all of her life. I noticed that repairing seemed to be an underlying theme of our week in Grundy County. Just as Grundy County was in need of much repair, our lives are always in need of reparation. Whether it be our relationships with others, our ever-changing perspectives and ideas, or our faith. In today's society especially, it's easy for us to drift from our faith. Even if we had a strong, grounded foundation to start with, even the slightest event can send off a chain reaction of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that can quickly bury even the deepest of faith. Mountaintop has allowed me to repair my own faith by hearing what my peers have to say about their own faith journeys, in addition to reaffirming my beliefs and reinforcing the strong foundation that faith requires. After having to quite literally be the foundation for the house we were working on, I can confirm that a strong foundation is essential when repairing. Being at Mountaintop strips things back to its roots and forces you to focus on the foundation of your faith. One of my favorite parts of the trip were the morning day breaks, a time carved out of each day to simply sit and reflect in still, silent nature. At each day break, we were given devotionals, which consisted of topics and practices to keep in mind as we headed into our work day. Some of these seemingly simple topics strengthened the foundation not only for the work day ahead, but the foundation for my faith. So as I think about repairing now, here are some of the takeaways. Repairing takes time. Another one of the homeowners I was able to meet explained how they had not received the help they needed on their house in several years. The man explained how he feared his house would have rotted away to nothing, as he put it, as he put it in his own words, 
had we not stepped in to seal his house with a coat of paint. Many of the residents in Grundy County still await much needed repairs to their house. I also learned that repairing often requires the help of others. One of the things I love about Mountaintop is its emphasis on community. When out in the county serving with our youth renewal groups, working together was key to getting projects done correctly and efficiently. When working, our successes and failures were at, did not fall on one person, but rather were as a group. When back at camp, I was greeted with an even larger sense of community, one which I was able to make new friends from other churches who I'm still able to keep in touch with. So if there's one thing that stood out to me in our week in Grundy County, it is the gratitude their community has. Despite the troubled living situations these families were in, each project we worked on, every family was nothing but kind and unconditionally appreciative of our work. We can all learn from Grundy County and find the gratitude we need in order to repair our own lives as we reflect on our fates and give the repairing process the time and resources it needs. <laughs>